That's why I want to salute Mama Helen TB Joshua for wonderful standing in the gap for God's general. That woman, she's a strong woman. That's, that's what we call a pastor wife. Now, today I just want to talk about one simple brief. I've been talking about it here and there every now and then. And uh, I thank God. Uh, lately, you've discovered I don't use my uh, uh, Blu-ray glasses uh, because I found a tint in my computer. So um, I quite use my bare eyes to work it out. So it's fine with me and uh, i believe it's also fine with you so that someone may not be uh, paul apostle says that what i do may not bring down a man or a woman somewhere with less faith so I, i'm getting used to working on my computer without specs and i will continue doing that for quite a time Okay, today I just want to deal with one simple aspect of this episode, and this is a Prophet Joshua Iginla coming in to talk about the strength of scorn after Prophet T.B. Joshua. Well, to just make a lay down on that, uh, all of you who've been here, Prophet Joshua Iginla has been one of the very few pastors that has stood by Prophet T.B. Joshua when all wars and all hell broke loose against Squan and against the man of God. He has been there. He has been speaking vocal on why people talk bad against men of God and etc. etc. And then after uh, uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua has gone to be with the Lord, he is one of the very first people who went to be and comfort uh, the woman of God, Prophetess T uh, Evelyn Joshua. Prophetess Evelyn Joshua. And uh, now, one of the videos clips that uh, he did very, very latest, I mean, the very latest video, I believe, in uh, his preaching. It's really touched me to talk about something on this. And uh, he's been talking about the love. If people would love you when you are alive, physically, they should continue the love. In fact, that's what shows the love even more. After you have been and you have gone to be the Lord, showing the love to the family. Very important. It's still a discipleship context. All these episodes I've been doing is more of about the episodes we are doing. Uh, discipleship is more about discipleship. If I learn, I become a disciple. If I love who disciples me, I love everything about him and the entire life. And that's exactly what Prophet Joshua Iginla is talking about in this video that I'm playing you starting now that's why i want to salute mama helen tb joshua for wonderful standing in the gap for god's general that woman she's a strong woman that's that's what we call a pastor wife standing in the gap holding the gap by now god's general will know those who have loved him and those who, who do not love him See, when people say they love you, what they do after God call you to glory, that's the true definition of who they love. If they don't love your wife, they are liars. If they don't, if they say they came because God called them to follow you, whether you are around or you are not around, they will follow the vision. The vision, squan is still there. Synagogue is still there. So if you disconnect because the man of God has gone, you were not never called to him. You are an eye service follower. I don't care who you are. It is only few people that stand. Say, hey, because it's a woman. Who said so? God can give the vision to a woman, to a baby, to anybody. So when I see women standing in the gap, 
holding the vision so that the candlelight does not go down. We should salute them. Timothy Profitable, and this is Blevoy. We handle your spiritual, economic, and social matters. See you in the next episode.